we have left the lake and we are here in Savan City and we are gonna have some lunch. So let's see what we can have here. I have no idea how to actually pronounce this restaurant, but uh, if you're Armenian, please let us know the exact name, maybe you pronounce in English, uh, of this restaurant. But it looks really, really cool inside. All right, everyone, we have our first in our world travels fish kebab, so this should be interesting. We have two orders here, and we can see that we have onions on top of it, the, you know, fish. The kebab, I guess, is, um, you know, inside there. Haven't uh, gone into this too much yet. And then there's onions. Uh, Kati, do you know what kind of herbs or herbs yeah. this is? These are? Cilantro. We've got... Uh, I don't know what this other one is. I just know what the cilantro is. <laughs> okay, and then we got our lavash bread, which is uh, pretty staple for Armenia. And uh, we have our French fries, as you can see, the French fries. I know what you're thinking. They don't look like French fries. Yeah. But we ordered French fries, and this is what we got. Yeah, so we weren't sure if this was like <laughs> a complimentary potatoes in addition. Um, also, so these is two different orders. I guess since we're sitting together, they just put it together here on um, one plate. Uh, all right, so we see the fish here. Uh, we don't know what kind of fish it is. The most popular fish around uh, Savan in Armenia is trout. Um, so it could be that. Um, hopefully, what? Yeah, I would say my guess is they just take, yeah, whatever fish it is and maybe mince it up like they would a kebab, right? Mm -hmm. And then Like a shawarma where you load up yeah, the chicken and then, okay. And then they barbecue it yeah. on the kebab stick. But yeah, I don't think this kebab stick is in there anymore. Okay, yeah. so we have pretty high expectations because our friend Hiccup is an amazing griller of barbecue trout. So let's see this. All right, we cut into it. We have no, uh, no uh, kebab stick. big toothpick <laughs> kebab yeah. stick. Yeah, <laughs> so we see this here. All right, cut into that a little bit more. So let's see our first one. Um, so each one was a thousand drams, so about uh, two dollars each one. And then our potatoes were 500 jam, our french fries were 500 jam, which is one dollar. Our fabulous french fries. Yeah, so we see a little bit of, um, you know, the oil or whatever coming off onto the lavash bread. Um, so I'm gonna have a bite of it, and then later on, uh, you know, we can roll it up into like a fish burrito or something of that nature. Yeah, that's got really good flavor. So. Um, some of the other restaurants we went to is kind of not the most flavorful. It's really hard to explain, but I think there's like some lemon and stuff that you can taste like the tanginess um, of it. What do you think, Kati? Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it's really, really good. It's seasoned with like lemons and citrus stuff. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. So yeah, here's our uh, fish kebab. We're gonna enjoy this, our potatoes, and our wonderful background here in a pretty traditional style restaurant. Yeah, it's really awesome, for sure. Yeah, we're gonna finish this, and then once we're done, we're actually gonna go find a spot to have some coffee and desserts, so we'll see you then. We have wandered into this very boho chic cafe, and look at this place. It is absolutely incredible. There's like so many old antiques and trinkets in here. I've heard of Soho, but not boho. Yeah, boho, like bohemian. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Um, yeah, this place is absolutely amazing, and uh, I know this is, I'm sure, probably for like, uh, you know, a war membrane or of a USSR because it says CCCP on it, but I was born in 1985, so selfishly that drew my attention. Uh, we also have a lot of older things like this really cool typewriter. Um, we have a, a Stalin head, a Stalin bust as we saw even at the, uh, the lake. All kinds of cool things. Uh, recorder, which you guys know I'm an expert recorder player. Um, our Armenian flag, so a lot of really cool things. Old camera equipment. 
Yeah, and look over here, there's like tons of little like old board games, or I guess you could probably come play them now. Yeah, some Armenian board games. And this is what we see of a bunch of the older guys playing a bunch, right? Well, the... I mean, it's chess checkers and backgammon, but yeah, they yeah. play a lot of backgammon and uh, chess, even it's, uh, you have to uh, have a class in chess in school. So yeah, and you can buy all kinds of uh, gifts and things like that, uh, earrings, I would imagine cool dolls. the locals probably make this, right? Mm -hmm. Like we've seen in other places. And uh, I was born in 1985. I also uh, played saxophone, so that's really cool. And then um, just like the last restaurant, you know, <laughs> you know the rules. We had to ask to have the music off, so they're very friendly enough to do that. But uh, yeah, music's in here. It's a party, it's a good time, and then they obviously have space to do uh, a live band as well. There's a full drum kit, guitars, all kinds of cool things. But we are here to eat, but we had to show you how amazing everything looked. Yeah. Uh, right. And then even on the ceiling, there's a lot of cool stuff. Oh, yeah. So there's like in the middle of the screen, the Mona Lisa painting, and then over here we in the center we have uh, Frida Kahlo. Yeah, and we'll put the place of this in the description because this is a really cool spot that you definitely have to check out if you're in the area. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk desserts. All right, so we got a we had basically a dessert sampler. Yeah. And not just is it dessert, but I mean look at this presentation, like yeah. really cool plating here. Not just plating, but the actual plates itself. Yeah, it's, it's clay. It's like a ceramic, right? Like a yeah, so is that like ceramic? A red clay. Yeah. The sugar is in this really cool thing. And then even the coffee. The yeah. coffee with the spoon, and it's on, um, I guess, a chunk of wood. So, all right, what do we got here? Yeah, so, exactly. your coffee was an Americano. Americano, so. super simple. And mine was a cafe latte. Yep. All right. This is a paklava. Okay, so, so instead of baklava, it's paklava. So. Um, from other places, baklava would be um, look a lot like that with like walnuts and honey and things like yeah, that. There's, there's big, some variations. Yeah, different kinds. Okay. This is karakum. Okay. Not really sure what it is. We'll let you know. And this is a funnel cake. Right. And what are the prices of these? The funnel cake should be three hundred. So it's less than a dollar. Five hundred. About a dollar. And one thousand. And one thousand, so two dollars. Yeah, and coffees are seven hundred and eight hundred, I think. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's try this. We have an amazing location, uh, amazing presentation of the food. Let's see how it tastes, though. All right, funnel cake. So not um, a funnel cake like you would have mm -hmm. in a, a carnival or a fair, right? Where it's just like fried dough and it have um, powdered sugar and then maybe some other toppings if you want it on top of it. It uh, looks like one of those like pecan logs or pecan logs, however yeah. you pronounce so it. Yeah, so it's tons of nuts. It makes me think of like the nuts inside of a Snickers bar. Um, some chocolate on the top and yeah, it's very delicious, very sweet. All right. Um, I'm gonna try this one. This was the other cake, karakum. It's warm. That looks similar to uh, some of the desserts that we had with the, um, I think it's strawberry or cherry, something like that inside of it. Kind of, it, ma it makes me think of like a, what's called a strudel. Okay. Yeah. And there is filling on the inside, some kind of jam of some sort, maybe apricot, apricot, don't know. That's All good right. too. And this is what, like a faklava? <laughs> paklava. Oh, okay. So not a fake baklava. No, paklava. Gotcha. Armenian dessert. All right. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's got a lot of layers to it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like a, a baklava would be yeah, with the nuts and the is it honey on top or? Honey, really yeah, there's nuts on the inside. It's thicker layers and it's not as flaky as a baklava would be. So this is a little bit heavier, but it's really good. Um, my favorite out of the three, I think would have to be, I don't know, one of these two. This is really good, but this was also very different and unique. So I like this one. 
So both good options. So we got that, we got some coffees, but uh, we have about less than an hour until uh, we have to hit us, take a sprinter van to go back mm -hmm. to uh, Yerevan. So we're gonna enjoy this and uh, enjoy this awesome uh, cafe and we'll see you guys next time. This is Witty Travels. <laughs> what could possibly be next? <laughs> <laughs>